This is Openly Hostile Opinions with your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to do anything I want to. Now they're looking at evil guys. I can't There we go. <laughs> hey, 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 what's up, motherfuckers? How's everyone doing today? Another episode of Openly Hostile Opinions. I'm Jay. This motherfucker over here is Casey. How's it going? Uh, it's going great. It's the ambiguously gay duo. Yeah. That's Thank all. you there, Hellsfire. Appreciate it. You know, I've never put a dick in my mouth. <laughs> Quit lying. I don't know, man. Like, I think women got it hard when it comes to oral sex. <laughs> they got it hard. Yeah, they got like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking women, they got to put that fucking huge veiny shit in your mouth, and men just have, a, like, a moist little hole to, like, lick. Ugh. All right, then. <laughs> oh, there's uh, there's Cyanide. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, what's up, Cy? Yeah, sorry, we call you Cricket all the time. I think more people know you by Cy. <laughs> Cy, Cricket, Cricket, Cy, whatever. Yeah. You probably imagine the mic is a dick. Hell's fire is uh, tearing you apart, brother. No, because it's black. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so shall we get into our beer of the week? Yes. All right, today we got uh, we got from Duclaw Brewing Company, uh, Dirty Little Freak. Yes. Uh, got I a think picture th of it here for people that want to know what the label looks like. Mm. I think they named it after Cy. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> this is ale brewed with vanilla beans and natural flavors added. So I don't know what the hell it's going to taste like. But I have a feeling it's going to taste like a white girl, like, drink from like fucking starbucks it's or whatever it's gonna be a starbucks oh, yeah. beer <laughs> she has cool. me i like it oh it's too vanilla oh man it's got like oh fuck no oh <laughs> no dude oh i don't know if i could finish this one <laughs> it kind of you know what it tastes like what it tastes like a s'more yeah i don't like it oh <laughs> it's too sweet like i feel like i'm sucking willy wonka's dick like Ugh. Gee, and you wonder why these people think you think you're gay, Casey? Nah, I don't know. I get that a lot. Everyone that everyone that meets me first thinks I'm gay for some reason. I have no fucking clue. There isn't enough coming in for him. God, yeah. this guy's brutal. <laughs> I know. Jesus. Is Christ. this this is going to be rated on the stripper scale? I don't know what he's going to rate it by. He comes up with something randomly every week. Uh, actually, I'm a big Aqua Teen Hunger uh, fan. For um, so blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. I'm so sick. I was throwing up all day <laughs> so like i'm a little loopy today i'm on all sorts of meds and shit like that so it should be a good show mixing meds with alcohol who fucking knows but i'm a big aqua teen hunger force fan so i think i'm gonna rate it three out of five ham bananas because <laughs> i don't bananas. yeah because i don't fucking like this shit it's weird it tastes way too much like vanilla so uh yeah i don't really like it it's uh Dirty little freak by Duclaw. I do not. I do not recommend it. <laughs> I I like it. I like it. It's. Uh, I wouldn't want to have more than one, but it's a good like after dinner beer. Yeah, I don't. It's desserty. Yeah, it is desserty. It's very desserty, and I'm gonna desert from it because I don't like it. <laughs> I can't believe you like that. I didn't think this was your kind of beer, but whatever. <laughs> it's it's almost kind of stouty. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Cy, si, you'd probably like it. I don't know if you drink beer at all. Do you drink beer at all, or what do you drink? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, All right, yeah. so, uh, yeah. All uh, right, so we're doing this whole fucking live streaming thing again. Yet again, we're going to give a little shout-out to our uh, podcast listeners. Uh, uh, we're starting to do these streams live on Periscope, so you're going to want to find us. We're at Hostile Opinions, so uh, if you listen to us on the podcast, definitely, uh, if you use the Periscope thing, uh, become our follower on there. Uh, for the, those of the rest of you, you know, we're up on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google Play, uh, Plus, uh, find us, subscribe to us, watch us, stalk us. I don't give a fuck. Yes, we're on the twatter. Oh, she likes Guinness and Yingling the best. All right, I knew I liked her for a good reason. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Guinness is uh, a Pennsylvania beer, but I know they have a factory down in Florida. Because uh, I was surprised when I moved down there. There's a lot of Yingling down there. <coughs> yeah, Guinness is good. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, Casey. Sound like a Star Wars villain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, you'll probably be more of a more of a good villain than that fucking bitch Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Oh man. He was such a bitch. <laughs> yeah, he was a bitch. 
Uh, they're probably going to make him look even more like a bitch in the next episode, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, Bex. I've never had Bex. Yes, Cy, there is a factory in uh, Florida. Because I thought it was just like a Pennsylvania thing, but I didn't realize that they moved one down there a couple years before. Yeah, they pretty much cover the whole East Coast. Yeah. Uh, uh, I forget where it's at, though. It might be in Orlando. And I know you said you, you're like 40 minutes from there or something like that, so who fucking knows? I don't know. Yeah, fuck yeah. it. <laughs> This guy really wants some dicks. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, I don't know if you caught it, but uh, he he it's uh, Sai's brother. Oh, Sai, you have a brother. Oh, okay. I did not know that you had a brother. But Sai... Uh, I can't believe there's more than one of you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Are we live? Are we live again? I have no clue. <laughs> I think I think we're rolling again. Okay. <laughs> hey, dickheads. All right. Welcome back, boys. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Technical difficulties. We still have no fucking clue what we are doing. Um, so think... recap. Recap for our podcast, which we think we lost the whole the whole beginning of. <laughs> We're drinking Duclaw, Dirty Little Freak. Casey doesn't like it. I like it. I gave it, <laughs> I gave it four. Casey gave it 3.5. I think I just gave it three because I don't really like it, but I'm drinking it because it's cold. It's fucking warm in here. It is warm in here. Like it's I don't I, hotter than a, uh, it's hotter than a fucking <laughs> prostitute's asshole at the end of dollar night. Yeah, it's fucking really hot in here. But anyways, like we were talking about, uh, I do a uh, trivia night at the bar that I work at, and uh, I got really fucking <laughs> sick yesterday. Uh, I took a bunch of pills for my teeth. My teeth been hurting. Uh, sure, for your teeth. <laughs> uh, I just, I don't know. I got really sick. So Jay had to do Quizzo. Uh, when I do Quizzo, the point system... Uh, people usually get like a 20 above right. His was 14. Yeah, that was the high. That was the <laughs> high score. Two, two teams tied at 14. We had to do a tiebreaker. Oh, my God. What kind of questions did you have? Do you remember any of them? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I, I didn't think they were that bad. I asked uh, the Canadian songbird who's responsible for the song, Call Me Maybe. Nobody knew that. <laughs> uh, what is the temperature in which... Uh, which uh, water condenses and forms dew. It's the fucking dew point. <laughs> no one got... See, I told you, man. When I do that shit, people are like, this shit's hard. I'm like, it's normal knowledge to me. I don't fucking know. It's the fucking dew point. It's in the name. <laughs> yeah. I asked one for Jason, and his bitch ass didn't even show up. No, oh, what was that? This, uh, what is the space between two notes uh, where the second one has doubled? 16th note? No, <laughs> I don't a, know. It's an octave. You oh. idiot. I don't fucking know. I didn't play guitar. I don't know. You played guitar. It was just not very good. No, it wasn't good at all. I, I had no fucking clue uh, <laughs> what I was doing when I played guitar. We just did a bunch of drugs, drank, and played live shows. That was about it. That's that's all we did. <laughs> yeah, but yet he's claiming it's his teeth that are the problem. It is my teeth. My teeth are fucking. Anyone here have them fucking... British teeth? Yeah, I do. I have really fucked up British teeth. Like my dad's last name was Johnson. Can't get any more British than that. <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> anyway, uh, and I just have bad teeth. I brush them twice a day. I you fucking... guys, oh, hang on here. You guys need to get some Colorado famous Buffalo gold made with Buffalo Whiz. What is that? Is that beer? <laughs> I, I, I'm i sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt, but I had to, oh, get, no, I have to get a response from that. Oh, no. It sounds like a hair product. Is it a hair product? <laughs> I don't know. It's made with Buffalo piss, apparently. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that's probably the only thing I haven't done to clean my teeth is put piss on them. Because I heard that yep, was... it's beer. <laughs> oh, my God. Colorado that's... Gold, is it called? We'll have to write that down. Because that's the thing. We try all sorts of beers like that. We're on our 38th episode, I think, like that. Oh, my God. So we're always looking for newer beers. We just go down to the local grocery store and get whatever we can. Um, and this looked good to Jay, so he got it. I didn't expect it to have too much vanilla on it. Ugh. It's just god awful. I don't I don't like it at all. It doesn't <clears throat> say it has piss in it. Is it supposed to really have piss in it? I guess. It says Buffalo Gold, a Colorado favorite since nineteen eighty nine. Uh piss is never potable. What the fuck? Yes, you're right. You're right, Sai. You know, it, it's always funny. You see those fucking uh like bear grills and shit. Oh you, oh, you gotta drink your piss to survive. Bullshit. <laughs> you know, we used to have a boss. Uh, years ago, he drank his own piss. Yeah, he did. He he uh he said that you he was a total fucking hippie, dude. 
he used to uh, claim that you lost too many nutrients and shit in your urine. So what he would do is he'd piss in a fucking uh, like like a Rubbermaid container. <laughs> and and I, I have to imagine it's that fucking Rubbermaid pitcher everybody's grandma had. That brown little. Yeah. Little. And it's brown because the piss was just <laughs> sitting in there and it's fucking sunlight's hitting it wrong. Well, he, he would put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. Where do you think it gets this yellow color? <laughs> I don't know. That would explain Budweiser. Yeah, Budweiser. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So this guy, this guy, he would do that. He would uh, put the piss in his 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 fridge because supposedly it would take uh, take away some of the sulfury taste. Ugh. I no shit. No uh, no piss. problem for following you there, man. You're funny. Piss taste. Oh fucking piss tastes like sulfur. That's what he said. I don't know. Oh, He's a fucking dude. Hippie. He didn't make Ugh, any sense, man. Ah, oh, what the fuck does piss have sulfur in it for? I don't know whether it was sulfur or what. No, but we did work out. We worked for this really fucked up group. Mama should have swallowed. You're right, man. <laughs> you know, he here's the funny thing is they were fucking raw food vegans, right? So they're raw food vegans and they had a stove. And one day I was up there moving shit up there because apparently as a cook, my job was also to be their personal furniture mover. <laughs> So I'm up there, I'm moving their fucking furniture in, in or some shit like that, and I see the stove. I'm like, what do you have that there for? Mostly as a planner? Yeah, you know? I know. <laughs> it's like, they're, they're raw food vegans. They don't fucking cook shit. And remind you, these people lived above the, our restaurant that we worked at, and they didn't believe in diapers because the li- diapers weren't natural or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Yeah. And they had like six kids or something, like a crazy amount. And they just three, dude. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I didn't fucking know. And then they let their kids run around and just shit all over the floor. (laughs) Like, and they never cleaned up after themselves. They drank their own piss and they were a bunch of fucking hippies. And it was just a horrible place to work. Horrible place, especially because we had the craziest waitresses that we've ever met in my life. Like, uh, I remember this one, she walked in and she was like limping. I was like, what the hell happened to you? She's like, oh, my husband fucked me in my ass so hard while I was sleeping last night. I'm like, what? She had a happy trail. Yeah, she did. She was the only woman I know that had a belly button ring and it was like tangled in her happy trail fucking (laughs) fur. It was disgusting. (laughs) And she used to like pick off my food all the time. Oh, so weird, man. Oh, God. And then we had this one that we were talking about last week. They used to eat wings out of the trash can and everything like that. Oh, she was god awful. She tried to rape me one night. <laughs> <laughs> you know the the one chick who um, the other day the other day I actually managed to pawn off my children to my grandmother, which was nice. Uh, <laughs> so so me and the wife decided to go to breakfast. That was our big fun time. <laughs> Besides, uh, you know, besides fucking in every room in the house since I didn't have kids home to walk in. <laughs> the next morning we went to breakfast, right? And this chick we used to work with who was a uh, waitress there, she uh, she got busted for cocaine. <laughs> oh, my Shit. God. She tried to she tried to crawl into the bed while Casey was sleeping, tried to fuck him. Yeah, it was god awful, man. She, was... had, she had like that. Yeah, you ever see those little guys? He used to steal olive oil from the Popeye cartoons with the big fucking big round noses and shit. <laughs> she did the little like Islander that. dude. She looked just like one of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I saw her there. She was waitressing where uh, where we were uh, having breakfast. Like, oh god, please don't let her be my server. Yeah, she just got out of jail. Actually, I don't know if it was for cocaine or what, but she just did get out of jail, and I have no clue why. Probably for like. I don't know, snorting coke off a black guy's dick in a fucking restaurant. Who knows? No, no, not <laughs> Brutus. They were little Islander dudes. Little Islander dude. Yeah, what were they called? I can't remember the name of them. Yeah, Brutus. Actually, our boss looks like Brutus that I have right now. <laughs> he looks just like him. Either that or he looks like Officer Farva from Super Troopers. <laughs> <laughs> and he watches these and he hates that. So sorry, Ron. <laughs> he's going to kick your ass. Man. I know. He's probably, he's probably going to. But anyways, he's, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Anyone that anyone that works at a restaurant knows that there's just always fucked up stories. I've never, I don't think I've ever met, like, a normal person working in a restaurant. Especially in the kitchen. Because in the kitchen, every guy has, like, either been to jail or has, like, fucking some meth addiction or something like that. And it's just, uh, I don't. Yeah, I remember now. The goons. The goons. They're okay. the goons. Goon natives. <laughs> yeah, look, look them up online. It's the goon natives. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, I, I don't she know. She looks just like them. Yeah, we, we have a friend right now that uh, 
uh, is in jail right now for heroin <laughs> and had worked in a restaurant for us for a long time. I just don't know <laughs> what it is about restaurants. <laughs> Brad USA says, had a waitress in the 70s with her braless hangers dangling in our soup. Not good for ambiance. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. Yeah, that's the thing, man. It's just, I don't know what it is about restaurants, but when people... People just flock to them that are so mentally. <laughs> well, it's just they they walk into the place in every sense of decency that they have as a normal human being and manners that they would have. It just goes completely out the fucking window. Yeah, I, I have no fucking clue why that happens. I don't know. I bitched about this before, and I'm going to say it again since you're all here and can give me a <laughs> can give me fucking instant gratification. The stupidest thing on the fucking planet to me is when you get lettuce and tomato on the side. You either like lettuce and tomato or you don't. Yeah, I know. I don't get that either. It's not like it's a condiment like mayonnaise where you might like a little, you might not like a lot. It's lettuce and tomato. You either want a leaf of lettuce on there or you don't. Why? I don't know. And, and that's the thing. Like, If anyone in here is like a waiter or a waitress, man, it sucks, man. It just You don't want to be miserable, but people make you miserable. Like, I'll explain things to Jay, and he's like, What's wrong with you? That wouldn't piss me off. I'm like, I know, but when you hear it all the time. Just man. get a fucking salad, Jesus. <laughs> Casey loves the homemade mayonnaise, Hellfire says. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I do, man. <laughs> I do. Put some um, sriracha on there, and we're golden. <laughs> Got that I, fire crotch. Yeah. You know, I've never tried sriracha. You are sadly, sadly missing out. Yeah, I've never tried sriracha. Never, never have. It, it just doesn't sound spicy ketchup. I don't know. It doesn't sound good to me. And I was actually over at my friend Jason's house the other day, and he was listening to a rap song just about Sriracha. So I must be missing something here. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is that I'm missing. Is Sriracha that good? Yes. <laughs> What's so good about it? I don't understand it. It has a great tangy, sweet heat. It's a lot different than... Uh, it, it doesn't taste anything like you know, like a Louisiana-style hot sauce, no. like Tabasco or something. It's fucking amazing. Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I always love it, though, because I was at my... Uh, here's a quick story. I was at my mother-in-law's house recently, and uh, it has buffalo piss in it. Jesus. <laughs> that guy likes buffaloes. Yeah. Different guy. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So uh, I was at my mother-in-law's house recently, and I asked... Uh, we were having breakfast or something. She gave us eggs, and I said, uh, hey, do you have any hot sauce? And she goes... She hands me a bottle of uh, sriracha. And she goes, be careful with that. That's super hot. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Like, I don't get it. People tend to think that that shit's so hot, but, it, you know, like, Tabasco's hotter than that. Well, Jay, well, let's, let's put it this way. Jay has a big tolerance for hot stuff. He eats hot stuff, and then I eat it, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? My butthole is going to have a callus on it from the burning afterwards. <laughs> Jay just has a high tolerance for hot stuff. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> okay, maybe so, but I can tell you this. Tabasco is way hotter than Sriracha. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think it is, too. Actually, no, I don't. Because <laughs> I've never had sriracha. Uh, I gotta try it. Actually, next next week I'll try it on the show and I'll tell you what I think about it because I have no idea. Because uh, I I don't know what and and that's like you said you put it on eggs and stuff like that. I don't know what you really put it on. Like, do people eat French fries with it and shit? I dip French fries in it. Really, I, I put it on everything. I like Carolina. your wife's pussy. <laughs> Trevor Duffy says Carolina Reapers. Anyone? Nope. <laughs> Nope. That's the thing. I said Jay likes hot stuff, but I didn't say he was fucking retarded. I'm not stupid. <laughs> yeah, because we actually, when we worked at that place where that guy drank his own piss, we had a bet with this guy. His name was Rob. Uh, we bet him 20 minutes he would eat a ghost pepper, uh, but for 20 minutes he couldn't drink or anything, and it was fucking hilarious. For 20 minutes he sat there and just drooled on himself, and it was so funny. He got the 20 bucks, or whatever it was. I forget how much it was, but I don't know, maybe it was 10 minutes. I forget, but... It was fucking hilarious. I never laughed so hard in my life. Because I like other people's pain. That's what keeps me alive. <laughs> uh, one, of, one of our buddies one time, uh, he, he was working with us at uh, a restaurant. We used to do dumb shit like rim each other's glasses with habaneros and shit. Yeah, when I was younger and I had parties over at my house, we'd be smoking uh, weed and shit like that out of G's. And my, me and my friend Kevin, we took a habanero and we uh, lined the G bottle with, Jesus. with the habanero. Oh, man. To see people's faces after they took a G with that, it was amazing. They're like, this is some crazy weed. Well, <laughs> They're our, like high-fiving each other. Back that's then. funny. <laughs> well, our buddy Greg, you know, uh, my, my uncle actually rimmed his straw 
with a habanero. So he's taking a drink of his soda. And he's like, oh, my God, does this Pepsi taste hot to you? <laughs> Why is this hot? <laughs> and uh, and I, I know exactly what he did. So I took a drink of him. I'm like, no. What are you talking about, right? So he goes and he realizes we were fucking with him. He dumps out his drink and he fills it back up and puts a straw back in the fucking glass. <laughs> Same straw. <laughs> What's wrong with this Pepsi? It's fucking hot. <laughs> that also reminds me. Uh, there was this guy at the Bullfrog, and he was crazy. I remember him being bald or something like that. But every time he called off work, it was because his mom died. <laughs> 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 this, fucking shaky. Yeah, this guy was hilarious. He's like, I can't come to work tonight. My mom died. And then like a week later, he'd be like, yeah, I can't come to work. My mom just passed away. <laughs> I was just like, well, does this guy like think we're stupid? Oh my god, such good times working at a restaurant. But I'm telling you, man, the stress ain't worth it. You know, I, <laughs> I ran into him last year. No, really, he's a bell ringer for the fucking Salvation Army. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel bad for them, man. It is so cold out, and they're just sitting there ringing that bell. I think that's the only thing that keeps them warm is them ringing the bell. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the alcohol. Yeah, probably. And ever because that reminds me, that's what like the bad Santa two was about. Guys, if you put hashtag love in your in your title, you'll get uh, hearts. Uh, that'd be great, except for we don't know how to change the name of it with OBS. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are dumb. I know. Like I was looking at how to change the names on your Periscope, like how it shows that you know each past broadcast and stuff. I have no idea how to fucking change the if names. If you put on. Disney Pirates, you get skulls and crossbones. Okay, I would so do that, but yet again, we don't know how to do that with OBS. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because I don't know if we have to do that through OBS. And I, I found it funny with Periscope is there's things you can do on the app that you can't do on a computer. Hi. And there's things on the computer you can't do with the app. So it's just like, I don't know. We're still getting used to it because we have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I you can't change it mid-broadcast. Yeah, we couldn't figure out how to change it beforehand. Yeah. It was an OBS thing. We don't know how to do it. Yeah. You know, we don't do it with our phones and shit. Nah. Although at this point I'm starting to think a phone would be easier. <laughs> Although we wouldn't be able to do that cool little scrolly thing we got going on there. Yeah. And uh <laughs> how cricket was on the or Cy, sorry. Cy <laughs> cricket Cy cricket. Uh how you were on the show last week and you were saying how Periscope's addicting. Uh later that night I was just scrolling through stuff to watch. There was some guy doing Coke and Xanax. <laughs> there was some Russian girl like drinking vodka and smoking weed and she was really fucked up and she was hot, so I kept watching. <laughs> I didn't understand a word she was saying, but she had great body karate and I was just whatever. <laughs> she said you can call me cricket, it's fine. Okay. All right, cricket. All right, we're good. Cricket, cyanide, whatever that bitch down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I found some stripper from like Alabama or something. <laughs> <laughs> she got like four teeth. No, she was actually really good looking. Like she was. She one of meth strippers. No, she was really hot. Like I was like, why? Why don't you go to a regular strip strip club and actually get some money? Same difference. Yeah, well, I guess she just wanted the attention or something. I don't know. Well, you know <laughs> what? Uh, more, more stories from the various jobs Jay's done over the years. For a little while, for about six months, I worked. <laughs> I worked a third shift in a hotel, like a cheap motel, like a Motel Six. Or we'll leave the light on for you. Yeah, no, no, no. It was a Super 8 is what it was. It was owned by this little Indian dude. Anyway, I worked uh, third shift, and I was the front counter person. And it was like half a mile from a strip club. So as you might imagine, <laughs> the the particular clientele I got at certain hours of the evening. Oh, man, I, I tell you, like, fucking weekdays were the best you'd be getting strippers and shit they'd be like amputees hopping in on one leg and shit <laughs> and that's the thing like he's not joking the strip club in this area the most famous one i'd guess it's called club freds and it is not set up well no. like you walk in it's concrete floor okay like shitty concrete like you can tell like you know abortions were put on it and shit. <laughs> like, it was so bad. And then you walk into the stripping area and there's just rubber made tables sitting around <laughs> yeah. there. Like that you buy at Walmart or something. Where are you guys? Uh we're in uh, northern central Pennsylvania. If you know where the uh, Little League World Series goes on, we're in a little shit in Podunk town outside. Yeah, that's of that. what we're famous for cuz we're not really famous for anything else except uh my guy down the street from me's a child molester. <laughs> Fuck it a year later, still walking around. Yeah, we have a... <laughs> Lots of justice here. <laughs> yeah, we have a child molester who lives in my town. He he did just move away because he had to, I guess. But it's still pretty weird. Because I moved... 
uh, I moved out into the country because I just like the country better. People are nicer. Uh, neighbors are friendlier and everything like that. But it's just funny that I moved out here to the country and the stereotypes just just flow. Like there's been um, a guy f- got caught fucking cows. Uh, this one farm up the street here. Uh, they were realizing that these cows, their buttholes were swelling. And they were like, what the fuck's going on? So they put on cameras, and this guy, believe it or not, was coming to the farm with a little step stool, <laughs> putting the step stool down and fucking these cows in the ass. So they caught him, and then we have this sheep fucker um, that got caught fucking sheep, I'd say, about three, four years ago. <laughs> and, uh, now... <laughs> and now that... Uh... <laughs> We have a child molester out here that got caught fucking his six-year-old daughter. Well, he didn't fuck her. His, this, this is the best part. His excuse to the lawyers, to the justice system, whatever you want to call it, was she was sitting on my lap. Uh, I was on my cell phone, and it fell. And when I went to grab for it, my fingers went in her. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not joking. Like, that was, that was his excuse. And it's like, I thought to that, I'm like, you have a fucking bitch that could fit a 40 of St. Ines up her pussy. It's still not that easy for a hand to fall in. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Especially a six-year-old. That shit is probably the size of a straw. So, <laughs> like, I just, whatever. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> it's And he's like, he fucking publicly admitted it in the restaurant we work at. And it's like, Really? Yeah, like a year later I know and that, and that's the thing he's very arrogant about it and that's the thing I really don't understand size pissed man she's got she says I have three bullets with that fucking guy's name on him. yeah I don't like child molesters either no. trust me dude he's a piece of shit like, I always used to get a creepy vibe from him I do like some freelance work on the side and uh, he one one time called me to do some computer work for him and ah uh, dude is fucking creepy I'd go into his office and, and do work and there was like a uh, a, a bed in his office, and it was fucking dirty and shit. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah, crackhead. We're not, we're not too happy about He's it a either. Mechanic. It's it. Well, how how long ago did it happen? A year? Over a year. Over a year well, ago. Well, when it happened, it was a long, time. long, long time ago. Yeah, but he got prosecuted. I'd say about a year ago. But there's been so many different things uh, with court and everything. His last court hearing, he was supposed to get, but his psychologist didn't show up, and yeah. I guess it's against the law to proceed without both psychologists there. <laughs> that's our lovely justice system here folks yeah uh but but the thing is is he's just uh people are starting to like do stuff stuff about it i would say like uh, uh a soccer game just recently he showed up and all the soccer moms got together and basically went up to him and like this isn't all right he shouldn't be here uh jay has kids and they did a christmas pageant he was there like it's yeah, just... watching watching his new wife's <laughs> new wife's uh, uh, granddaughter. Yeah, because because that's not even a half of it. Like you think that's bad enough? Uh, there's a couple that lives around here. Okay, that were married for like I don't know thirty some years or something like that. When this all happened, she straight up just left her husband for this child molester. <laughs> That she was married to for 30, 20 some fucking years, and she just left this guy just to be with this child molester. And it's just, and that, that's in its own fucking thing. I feel bad for the guy. He's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, somebody I, just said he should have had an ankle monitor. No, he should have a fucking bullet between his eyes. <laughs> you don't fucking touch little kids, man. I know. That, that's fucking weird, man. And, and of course, you know, I have to make fun about it. And I, you know, <laughs> compared the girl that he touched to an unused donut that someone put their finger through and didn't want it anymore, so they just left it in the cabinet. <laughs> that is a great question. Hell's Fire wants to know what the age on your shirt stands for. What the fuck does the age on your shirt stand for? Uh, the town that we live in is considered Hughesville. Um, I'm very close. Oh, is that a Hughesville shirt? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's, okay. uh... My my neighbor, uh, also, I'm really good friends with her. She's been on the show. She's going to come on the show again. We call her Ashley the Neighbor. Um, she's a really good friend of mine, and she has this younger daughter named T- uh, Abby, and she's 10 years old, and she has soccer, so I bought it to support her soccer team. Um, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> it's, it's nothing fancy. Like, I got it from a hooker with one leg down the street. <laughs> like, I'm actually really proud of you guys. I was... Uh, I was uh, he- 
Okay, yeah, sorry, Amber L- L- Lassiter. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. They're not supposed to be anywhere near schools or churches. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But he hasn't been prosecuted yet. Yeah, he hasn't. He, he he hasn't like been sentenced. So for some reason that he's still allowed to be wandering around. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm all proud of you guys. I thought for sure I was gonna get roasted for my shirt. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Pens won shirt. the Stanley Cup. Woo woo! <laughs> Go Pens! Ah, great fucking series. I don't know if we have any sports fans here, but I don't really watch sports myself, but hockey gets me going, dude. Like, Thank you. <laughs> nice jersey. <laughs> Ghost dealers. Thank you. Yeah. Hockey gets me fucking going. I don't know what... I think it's because in hockey, they don't score a lot. Fuck the Penguins. <laughs> so it's very high pace, and when they score, I get like fucking... Like the t- t- uh, testosterone from the TV goes into my body, makes my balls swell up three sizes. <laughs> like it's just it's bad like i get thirsty <laughs> like i turn anyone know the fucking uh spongebob caveman memes <laughs> that's how i get i'm just like <laughs> i'm like blood oh i fucking love it it's great. I, I pretty much stopped watching hockey when they did their fucking strike oh like, yeah like back yeah. in what was that the late 90s yeah i don't know I fucking, that's another thing. Like, me and him make fun of, like, we made fun of Kaepernick and shit like that. Fuck that pussy. <laughs> like, like I just I just don't get it. Whatever. And it's like I've seen, like, Jennifer Lawrence was making big deals about, oh, equal pay for actors. Like, what? Like, 30 million? Like, isn't as good as 30, th- like, 3.3 million? <laughs> like, I just don't get it, man. People are I think fucking. your math was off there a little bit. Think my what? Your math was off there a little bit. I am not Asian, it's so not I don't funny. know math. <laughs> of course my math's off. I'm not Polish and I'm not Asian. <laughs> I dropped out of high school. Give me a break here. <laughs> I haven't played enough sound effects. Yeah, I know. You never do anymore. I'm just going <laughs> to... <Hey>, money. <laughs> do it! You used to play just that one a lot. Do it. I remember you used to play that one a lot. You what, never just do it? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. My f- my personal favorite one I don't get to do enough is this one. Stop breaking the law, asshole! <laughs> I need to play that one more often. That's that's one of my favorite movies. Liar, liar. Uh, before Jim, Cra- uh, Jim Crazy. Jim Crazy. <laughs> Jim fucking crazy. <laughs> Jim Carrey went all political and shit. <laughs> that's the thing I'm getting sick of, man. Like... I see all these people going political and shit. And I'm like, can you just make movies and stuff? Like, I'm sick of like hearing how crazy you are. We already know you're crazy. Just make movies. That's all I want. Well, he was fucking. Uh, he, he was fucking Doctor uh, Jenny McCarthy, who says vaccinations are bad. <laughs> oh, let's get Alex Jones in here. We're starting on the conspiracy. Do you shit. understand that? <laughs> I'm kicking my ass. Do you mind? <laughs> That's one of my favorite lines from that movie. That is so great. I love that movie. Oh, Mexican Troll 2. Hey, look, it's another one of you talk show on Scope. How original. Hey, that's all right. <laughs> Mexican Troll. <laughs> Mexican Troll. <laughs> he even has... You don't even... Man, uh... He doesn't even I, hide it. About? What are you about, man? <laughs> he doesn't even have it. Now, that's what we do, dude. We're just doing, like, the uh, whole morning zoo radio talk show kind of deal. Did he get over the wall? <laughs> These assholes make thirty million, and they think their voice matters. Yeah, that's about it. About right too. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. Like, it's just so fucking weird to me. Like, if uh, I seen the Kaepernick thing, I seen the Jennifer Lawrence thing, and I'm just like, are they that far out of reality that millions of dollars like make you not understand that? I just don't under fucking. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever. I'm gonna start ranting, and I don't want to rant because you understand all, <laughs> that because I get all fucking crazy and I turn into the Credible Hulk. Then I beat Jay off camera, <laughs> and he doesn't yeah, like that. You're beating me off? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, there there, you there go. we go. Hellfire, or whatever his name was, is going <laughs> to be like, oh, I told you, Magic the Gathering and beating men off. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise is a fucking psycho. Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, he what is. What the hell is up with his Scientologist ass lately? I don't know. And what, it, like, I remember there was this thing on Scientology, and they were saying about, oh, it's not bad, it's not bad. And then these people the that it's ex- not. Yeah. Did you got if you guys haven't seen that show yet about uh, with Leah Remini or Lay Remini? I, I really don't know how to pronounce her name. The chick from King of Queens, uh, her show with um, talking about how she used to be a Scientologist and uh, exposing all the bullshit that's in there. Uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, because then because I remember. Uh, there was oh, a- here's somebody mad at Kathy Griffin. 
You're weird. Yeah, you know what? Can I get into that for a moment, too? Like, the whole Kathy Griffin thing? What the fuck is with everybody getting all mad because Kathy Griffin did something against Trump? Oh, God, no. Every, everyone's doing stuff against Trump. I was like, when I saw that, I was like, people hating on Trump. That's weird. You know what? <laughs> everybody turned into a bunch of fucking pussies. Whatever happened to... What? Yeah, it's fucking comedy. Whatever happened to, like, <laughs> fucking raging against machines? Whatever happened to, like, fucking... I know, and the thing is, is the Kathy Griffin thing, I didn't care about it at all. I really didn't care no, about it's, it. it's a, just a fucking stupid thing. But when I started caring about it is when she started apologizing and then immediately played the victim. That's when I was like, okay. Oh, no, no. When you, ba <laughs> when you back, uh, the worst thing in the world, yeah. when you do That's something. That's where she fucked up. When you do something, you fucking own it. Yeah. You don't backpedal. That's where she fucked up. She fucked up by apologizing. Mm -hmm. And when she apologized, she broke into this. He broke me. Like, what? That's what I was like. Yeah, it, okay, you fucked up. All right. Yeah. And I thought it was cool at first. But now you're just you're but, just making it you worse. You know what? As, as far like, she shouldn't have backpedaled. You know uh, what? That's, exactly. fucking, that's fucking bullshit. You own it when you fucking say something. Yeah, exactly. You know what? Like, here's what I'm going to say. Donald Trump is a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I'm owning that. <laughs> exactly. I think he is a he is a toddler who doesn't know how to fucking work Twitter, let alone <laughs> run a country. Kafifi, he's kafifiing ka on I Twitter. That, I thought that was hilarious, the kafifi thing. And you know what? I fucking own that. I think he's a douchebag. Right. I'm not going to sit here and backpedal and say, well, you know, there's a couple of good things about him. <laughs> you know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. He he mentally scarred me. <laughs> Bullshit. He's an idiot. He's I a know. stupid fucking dumb idiot, and I can't believe half of our country voted for him. Hey, whatever, man. But that's that's the thing. That's what. That's he's where great. She... Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy your little red hat. <laughs> that's, that's where she fucked up. Because it, it showed how emotionally... <laughs> Sorry. What? Oompa Loompa doopity do all our choices suck and we're screwed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's and that's me and Jay, we really don't talk about politics a lot. We we don't cause, Sometimes we do. Yeah, sometimes we do. But we just th that's basically what we're on is you know, you got the elephant, you got the donkey. They both they shit. They both shit in the same yeah. hat. It don't matter. They, they both have the same shit. And then you got Donald Trump, who's like a fucking toddler with the keys to the fucking Corvette. Yeah. So we just sit back and basically watch the world burn because it's just I don't know. It's I don't know how Jay feels about it, but I I basically think it's all just a big not scam, but it's just like there's a it's lot all of all horse. Yeah, there's just a it's lot all, of problems it's with it's all it. fucking theater. Yeah, it's just there's a lot of problems with a two party system. When you have a two party system like we do, you know, every four years or eight years, depending on how long the president is, you're gonna have half the country unhappy, and it's just it's a big fault. It's a huge fault, and it's just half the country unhappy. That's bad, man. <laughs> like, that fucking sucks. Yeah, whatever. Let's get off this shit. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> but but I did want to bring up the one thing about Kathy Griffin. Me and Jay are big Guar fans. Yeah, fuck yeah. Fucking Guar is awesome. Well, Kathy Griffin, her attorney came out and was saying, you know, I don't see why this is such a big deal. Bands like, you know, I forget, uh, Municipal Waste, I think she said. And then she completely fucked up Guar's name. And she was like, bands like... And she looks at it, she, she's like, G-W-A-R. <laughs> G-W-A-R. Yeah, like they cut Donald Trump's head off on like live show. Yeah, every and night. Obama, <laughs> and Bush, and everybody else. Yeah, because when I, they're fucking Guar. Yeah, when I seen Guar the first time, it was at a festival. And uh, that was when a big deal was when that new pope came out. And he was a like, Hitler youth. Well, he came out with a Dude, he straight up looked like Emperor Palpatine. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and he came out with this swastika and... Uh, he had swastikas over him. They cut his fucking head off, and he just ran around bleeding all over the crowd for the whole first song. <laughs> but And that's the thing. And Guar retweeted, and they were like, um, we do not apologize for anything. And they actually invited Kathy Griffin to one of her shows to cut Donald Trump's head off with. And I think that's basically what they were saying. Don't apologize. Once you do something like that, just don't back down. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. This is why we need Robin Williams back, uh, Cricket saying. Yeah, you're right about that, you know. He was one of those guys where, uh, of course, he was older than me, but he was one of those people you never could imagine passing before you. Mm. But he just always belonged in this world. Yeah. There was never a time that I thought I was going to wake up and Robin Williams wouldn't be there anymore. Yep. It was kind of the same way with Adam West this week, so rip Adam West for that, too. Adam West. <laughs> and now that he died and he's going up, does that make him Adam North? <laughs> I couldn't resist. I could not resist. <laughs> I yeah. just couldn't. <laughs> it's 
it, it's true. Like I never imagined a world where Robin Williams wouldn't be in it. I know, dude, and and that's the thing, man. Fucking Robin Williams is the shit. There were so yeah. many iconic. Like even he doesn't even yeah. really say like anything special. Just like the one part in Mrs. Doubtfire where he puts the cake over his face. He's like, hello. I still quote that to today. Yeah, he's so fucking funny. <laughs> All right, I got an I miss George Carlin said why, and uh, Cricket says uh, I I I cried, literally cried when he passed away. Actually, what what got me. Is on Google Plus. I saw somebody post. Uh, he posted your free now genie meme, and I cried like a bitch. The genie's free. I cried. That is fucking sad. I cried like a bitch. I didn't even see that or never heard of it until now. That's fucking horrible. Gene Wilder's gone. Fuck. Thanks, Trevor. <laughs> Who else died? Uh, Princess Leia, man. That sucked. The crocodile <laughs> Hunter. Yeah, fucking Steve Irwin. I heard his son's doing really good, though. Uh, he, yeah. I guess his son, I don't know his name or anything like that, but he picked up right off where Steve left. Not getting stung by a jelly or whatever. <laughs> Stingray. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, he's he's just as insane. Like he goes up to animals, fucking doesn't care if they're poisonous or whatever. He just fucks with them, whatever. <laughs> hey, look at this! This is the most poisonous animal on this continent. Let me jam my finger up his bum and see what he does. Yeah, and that's the thing, man. I remember when I seen him, I'm like, yeah, Job's gonna get him killed, but he loved it, whatever. I don't know. There's a lot of uh, stories about that right now. I guess his wife isn't moving on. She says she'll never find someone like Steve ever again. He so has she's... a daughter, not a son, they're saying. Oh, really? Maybe it's the daughter then. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm don't still know. waiting for Justin Bieber to die. Keep waiting. <laughs> his career hasn't even died yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. It hasn't, dude. Oh, man. We just covered on the show uh, a couple days ago, or not a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago, I'd say, about how some other girl got a tattoo of a lion, and they're saying she's ripping off Justin Bieber. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> what's her face? I don't fucking know. Yeah. Her name is Bindi Irwin, apparently. What is it? Bindi. That's oh, the most fucking Australian thing I've ever heard in my oh, life. Oh, Stevie's daughter's name? Yeah. Is that what we were talking about? Bindi. Bindi's yeah. the name of the daughter. Yeah, because I guess I saw her on, it was like Jimmy Fallon or something like that. She, I don't know. I think she does the same thing. <clears throat> All this beer. Ugh. Yeah, sure. Blame the beer, not your your gross, disgusting. No, because the fucking vanilla shit, like Willy Wonka's dick stuff. <laughs> uh, dude, my fucking arm is so sore. Why? My wife re-outlined this one tattoo here. Hey, I'll show over the camera. My anchor tattoo. God, it hurts. Yeah, Jay's wife started tattooing, so Jay uh, got to be the test subject. <laughs> yeah, she's she's doing really good, but uh, I keep freaking hitting it on my chair, and it hurts. No. Oh. How many, uh, you're getting your whole arm done, aren't you? Uh, probably since she's practicing on me, probably from my neck down. <laughs> Yo, uh, you know, I saw a dude with a, with a dick tattoo once. <sighs> oh, my friend Could Jimmy you had one of them. What? <laughs> you didn't know that? He you got know a Jimmy? dick tattoo. Not a tattoo. Oh, no, 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 oh, okay. no, 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 no. Not no. the dick and ball tattoo he has. No. I'm saying <laughs> tattooed dick. No, okay. Yeah, Jimmy didn't have that. <laughs> like, dude had flames tattooed on his dick. What? I would I would put a dot like a hundred dollar bill on because bitches love to blow money. Well, the worst part is you'd have to be you'd have to be hard for them to tattoo it. Yeah. Now, how are you racing stripe tattooed on his balls? Okay, fine. <laughs> but my my question is, uh, if if your dick is hard, how how do you keep that up knowing somebody's coming at it with needles? I don't know, man. Oh, I saw on Showtime years and years ago they had a special about these guys pay. Uh, prostitutes money just to put uh, needles in their balls and they pay them like 20 bucks a, a needle to put and not stop and then there's this weird like high heel porn where guys put their balls out and women step on their balls in high heels and I'm not talking just like a little bit they flatten that shit for it's like fucking Aunt Jemima, Jemima pancake shit <laughs> like it's fucking crazy man I don't know <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for a sound effect for that and I just <laughs> I don't know. There's some creepy shit out there, man. <laughs> That's the best I can do. No, we weren't talking about the child molester anymore. <laughs> Prince Albert must hurt like a bitch. Yeah. Those are uh, the worst ones are the ones that look like fucking ladders the whole way up. Yeah, that's a Jacob's ladder, isn't it? I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, how do you stay hard when you have a fucking needle on your dick? We should have a live demonstration. <laughs> no, we shouldn't. <laughs> we all can see how uh, small Jay's penis is. <laughs> Considering I'm the only one doing the whole tattoo thing right now, I'd probably be the <laughs> guinea pig, and I don't think so. Yeah, I don't have any tattoos. I'd go broke, man. I hear, I hear that, uh, tattoos are addicting, and they just, I don't know. Because I, I would have my whole fucking body done. 
you know, Magic the Gathering <laughs> tattoos, because obviously I play that. <laughs> That's so funny to me. So lame. That's so funny to me. It's like a Jacob's Ladder, but the rings go around the dick. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ, man. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> I never like, heard. What would you do with that? Is... I don't know. Maybe it's pleasure for women. I got I to gotta actually say something. I fooled around with a girl with a clit ring one time. That shit sucks. Like, I don't know about anybody else, but she Jeez said, like, like, it's just, I don't know. You, like, it's sensitive to them, so sensitive that, like, if you touch it too much, they freak. So it's just, like, it's annoying more than anything. It's like a cock block. <laughs> like, have you ever messed around with a girl with a clit ring? Uh, no. No, I have not. It's annoying. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> you know, I'm not a tattoo person. Or a tattoo person. I'm not a big really? piercing person. <laughs> Believe oh, it or I, not. I love piercings on girls. Oh, yeah. They're those, they're okay. It's just not my thing. Those little nipple piercings. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just... That can, that's a good way to chip a tooth. I like it, though. I think sex and pain are awesome. <laughs> sex and pain are delicious. <laughs> like, if a girl's ripping your skin out of your back, it's awesome. It's a good night. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> got raped by a waitress tattooed on Casey's ass. <laughs> Attempted rape, at least yeah, it claims. Was, I was I was in a fucking drunken coma, so that shit that shit was not poking up. <laughs> All inch and a half of it was not going up. <laughs> I heard you got a big dick boy. Yeah, that's how she Let said it too, because she had a man voice. So like that's how Actually I think she kinda said yeah, she kinda had an easily voice. <laughs> No, because remember, mm. remember when she used to get pissed? She'd be like, motherfucker. <laughs> She'd get really low and stuff. Like, I literally think, like, she'd Satan eat, was she'd in her vagina. she chicken wings out of the trash. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, want chicken wing. Ugh, but that's how she woke me wing. up, man. She was like, she's like, let me see that dick. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it was like an Ace Ventura. Anyone seen Ace Ventura where he's in? He's like, rent Ventura. He's like, yes, Satan? <laughs> like, I thought I died of alcohol poisoning, and that was... My greeting into hell. Because <laughs> we all know I ain't going to heaven. No sirree, Bob. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man, you guys are too fun. Why? Well, keep... What are they saying? They're just, they're just keeping the, keeping the conversation going. Yeah, you can't see them anymore, can you? Yeah, no, I just shut the whole my laptop. Fri- freezing thing. We got to come up with a better solution for that. I don't think it was my laptop. Maybe it was like switching stuff. Does, you know. does Casey like gerbling? Uh, if the nails are clipped. If the nails are clipped, okay. I don't, like, I don't, you know, I don't like it when the nails are long. It hurts. You have to go to the hospital. <laughs> I don't have any health insurance. Let me winks. <laughs> so, yeah, I, and, and that's the thing, like, <laughs> we'll do it, but you got to clip the nails. That's all you. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I ain't paying for the gerbil tubing. <laughs> it was the scr- switching screens, yes, yeah, so. Okay, so I think that's what did it. We'll have to figure that out. We'll have to figure that out. Yeah, like I said, this is what our third week live streaming. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know what we're doing. We were doing this on YouTube live too, but the only two people who are watching it were us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, so we're gonna stick to Periscope from now on. Uh, uh, yeah, I should probably do another plug though. I wonder why the gerbils don't try to dig their way out. They do. That's the whole fun of it. That's the whole. That's the whole <laughs> best part, man. Because the, they just don't know which way is out. Yeah, because then the gerbils start screaming, and they start, and then it vibrates and makes you hornier, and then you know hits the prostate. All right. Well, <laughs> on that note, hey, uh, <laughs> we have merchandise. Uh, if you go to openlyhostileopinions.com, uh, you can pick up uh, t-shirts, caps, uh, fucking coffee mugs, all sorts of shit. They want to know if you've been anally vi- anally violated with a uh, strap on. Uh, no, I do the violating. I'm the pitcher. Okay, then. <laughs> uh, we, we... I like to give the pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can follow us on YouTube on uh, Openly Hostile Opinions. It's uh, youtube.com slash C slash Openly Hostile Opinions. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us in Openly... Or, uh, oh, Google Plus. Fuck, I am fucking this whole pitch up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of t-shirts, yeah. Uh, wait, what? The the T-shirt that uh, the cricket ordered a while ago never got there. Oh, she says she needs to check on it. Well, we don't run the T-shirt shop, so uh, I mean, send them a message if if there's if it still doesn't come, uh, let me know and I'll see if I can talk to them. Yeah. Uh, also, speaking of which, since you did the twenty dollar uh, tier on our Patreon, which we also have a Patreon, 
uh, patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Um, yeah, since you signed up for that, I owe you a t-shirt. We're working on that. Uh, I got to design it. <laughs> I got to design it yet because we want to make something special for our patrons. Yes, we do. I never thought anybody would be stupid enough to give us $20 a month <laughs> an episode, so I, I didn't work hard at that. But it is, I swear to you, I swear to God, I'm going to get you your T-shirt. We're working on it. <laughs> Google Armageddon. It would be perfect for your show. What What is Armageddon? Yeah, you're going to have to, because we're, we're still new to this whole periscope shit. <laughs> Put a giant dick on it, Jay. <laughs> I don't th- Go ahead. I don't think she would appreciate that. <laughs> no, she probably wouldn't. She'd be like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> that's another thing, uh, Cy. I was watching your one live stream. Remember when that guy was itching his balls outside? <laughs> and we thought he had prostate cancer because of how deep he was itching? <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw, I think it was that stream or the one before that, you had this Brass Knuckles coffee mug. Uh, that the, the handle was Brass Knuckles and there was blood all over it. That shit was fucking awesome. <laughs> Put Casey's tiny dick on it then. <laughs> God, man, we've talked a lot about my dick tonight. I, my dick's becoming a celebrity. <laughs> Casey's dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucker was scratching his nuts for like five minutes. Yeah, Casey was telling me about that. Yeah, that fucking cup's awesome. I was like, oh, that thing's so cool looking. But uh, yeah, are you, are you done butt plugging it? Yeah, I'm done butt plugging it. We got we to gotta button this up. My laptop's going to die. Yeah, we're about out of time. <laughs> So, uh, yes, uh, sorry, everyone, about the little, you know, mess up or whatever, everything like that. But we do this uh, every night on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Every Tuesday, not every night. Oh, yeah, every Tuesday. Sorry. (laughs) The drugs. Uh, Every Tuesday at 8 p.m., around 8 p.m. Jay usually gets over here around 8. uh, Then we have to set everything up and everything like that. So uh, thanks again. And thanks, uh, Cricket, again for, you know, spreading the word and getting us an interesting guest next week, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Foreshadowing. Hey, hey. <laughs> all right, everybody. We'll see you all next week. Thanks a lot. We love you all. Thank you. Have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>